Science of Samoa, everybody. Well, welcome back. We are here on School Talk Story with Dr. T. And it is a pleasure to see everyone out there. And again, welcome to our show. We're very happy to have everybody on here today. But, um, yep, hope everybody is having a very pleasant week. And um, seems like everything seems to be functioning so far here on, on this program. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. But anyway, this is, I don't know if you can believe it or not, but this is November. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> what happened to October and September in the summer? But um, again, we have several things we want to recognize in the month of October. Uh, first of all, we have this week El Dia de los Muertos, or the Day of the Dead, and we'll be doing a few songs for that today. Yeah, we do have some. Okay. <laughs> Had to check the old agenda there. And then um, also Veterans Day is this month. So again, remember to recognize your veterans. And finally, we have Thanksgiving coming up. So hopefully you've signed up for the Thanksgiving turkey trot. <laughs> yep, I think I might do one this year. It's just trying to find one that's not too crowded because as you know, it's still a little tenuous out there with the um, COVID-19. Again, be safe and to try to be um, selective on where you go, <laughs> okay, because it is still pretty dangerous out there. We want to welcome everybody there on, in Twitch land, all of our followers and our subscribers. Thank you so much for participating and coming on this program. Now, let me see. The first song I wanted to play for you today, I wanted to do so in memory of the many who who were victims of the surge there in South Korea. That was a very, very tragic situation there that happened. And just too many people in a small place. And they call that a surge. Everybody's just kind of stuck together and there's nowhere to go. So I imagine it must have been horrifying being there. But I wanted to share with you this song. And this is for all of our friends Korean friends, this is called Arirang, and I hope this song will bring you peace, because this is a song that talks about Arirang, which is the name of a mountain pass in Korea. And as we go there, we are able to see the streams and the rainfalls and the flowers. So this is truly a place of peace. So we hope that this will bring peace to all of you out there as we grieve. And again, we share that song. We think about all of our Korean friends that were affected 
by that terrible tragedy in South Korea. Well, friends, um, I wanted to talk now about our theme for this week is about celebration or celebrate. All right. So let me share this with you. And this is a good time for everybody to kind of sit back, relax, and breathe in nice and deep through the stomach. Everybody just breathe in and breathe out and do that several times. You'll start to feel better. And it's always good to get nice and stretch too. So stretch out and breathe in and out, everybody. All right. So here is our reflection for today. Through celebration, we recognize when we, or people that we love or care for, and reach a goal, no matter how big or small the goal is. And we honor the hard work in the midst of the mundane and in doing so lift our spirits. So you think about this, yeah, I think many times we do have celebrations for different things. Sometimes it's for a birthday or an anniversary. Other times we celebrate because we have accomplished a goal either at home or at the office. So, yep. And we can celebrate with our family, our friends, our colleagues. So think about while some of the most memorable occasions you celebrated may have been at home or at the office, what were they? What were some of the celebrations? What were the reasons that you celebrated? All right, everybody. So, I'm going to share a song with you from the movie Coco, because this week we celebrate El Dia de los Muertos, or the Day of the Dead. So some of you think about that, you're scared. It's, oh, no. But what this uh, celebration is, it's to recognize our ancestors. So it's a good thing. And many times what the people will do is they will prepare the ancestor's favorite dish or they will have pictures of the ancestor. So yeah, a lot of things that are done on the Dia de los Muertos or the Day of the Dead. But this song, I might have played this before, but this comes from the movie Coco. And uh, Coco is the name of Grandma. And... Um, this is a song about a young man named Miguel. He is a guitar player. And Miguel decides to go to the other side and see how everybody's doing over there. <laughs> so, so in this particular song, he is playing on the guitar and there is a dancing skeleton next to him. <laughs> so the name of the song is Un Poco Loco, which means a little crazy. Then at the end, I will say un poquitititititititititititititito loco. That means very crazy. <laughs> then I talk about my cabeza shaking. That cabeza means your head. And what else? Also talks about ay mi amor. That means yes, my love. Okay. <laughs> All right, everybody, here we go. One, two, end.
that's a song that'll wake you up, huh? <laughs> so again, from the movie Coco, everybody. All right. Well, we're going to get ready for ukulele class right now. So go out there and find your instrument. Yeah, see this shirt I have on? This has all the different types of instruments on here. The pineapple ukulele, the fluke ukulele, the figure eight ukulele. Yeah, there's a lot of them on here. The cutaway ukulele. <laughs> yeah, they're all on here, everybody. But um, again, look for your instrument. If you don't have one, then use the trusty air ukulele. Always works good. <laughs> Now, I wanted to share some other things with you related to our self-care before we go into ukulele class. But um, again, we always uh, ask you to check in on your chart. So these are our stress levels, everybody. Let me see. So we have again green, yellow, orange, and red. So ask yourself, what level am I at? Okay. Yeah, let me dim this light here because it's a little too light. Yeah, maybe that's a little better. Okay, good. But um, again, ask yourself, what level am I at? And if you are in the orange and especially the red zone, everybody, you need to get some help. You need to talk to somebody. So I have it here in our chat, calhope.org or 833-317-HOPE. This is a very nice group. You can go on the live chat or you can give them a call and say, hey, I need some help, okay? We have the 988 lifeline number. That is very, very important. If you or somebody is thinking about harming yourself, call that one, 988, everybody. And then finally, you see the 415-609-2018 number is the Pacific Islander PI, Pacific Islander Wellness Initiative. So this is another group that can help you out, everybody. So again, do your best to get help here. It's very, very important because we want all of you to be with us there, everybody. Aloha, please. Okay. Now, I wanted to talk about... As we talked last time about understanding what anger is, and now I want to talk about how can we manage anger. So these are behaviors, number one, that bring about more anger or heat. Yeah, more anger. So here we go. Are you ready? Making accusations, arguing while you're angry, yelling, screaming, and shouting dwelling on hurt feelings, and then finally, violence. Yeah, be careful, everybody, violence. So that is very, very important, everybody, very important. Um, let me see here. Um, the following items help us to cool down from our anger. So here's a good one. Count to 10 plus. Yeah, that's a good idea. Get involved in non-competitive exercise, such as running, because as you do these things, um, what these things do is they help you to feel what is called the endorphins. Yeah, imagine that, endorphins. Um, and then next, the endorphins are very important because this is something that the body releases that helps you to feel good. Yeah, feel very, very good. Now, also you can meditate, relax, go outside into the sun and the fresh air. That's very good for you. Listen to calming music. Yeah, that's what we do on this show. We try to calm you. <laughs> and then finally, do some breathing, nice deep breathing. That also helps you in these times. So friends, those are some things you can do to again deal with anger. And we will keep addressing this topic again next week. All right, well, let's get ready for ukulele class. So 
Let's see, our first song is one that we're learning for Thanksgiving. Now, the good news about all this is you can find all of the music in the Ukulele Dad Facebook page. You said, wow, yeah, that's right. So if you go to Ukulele Dad on Facebook, we have your music there, the chord charts, and the YouTube videos, so you can learn everything, everybody. Okay. But our first song is called the Gobble Gobble Song. Yep. Gobble Gobble. Now, I did forget to do one thing here, but we're just going to do it as right here. <laughs> I'm supposed to show you the chord charts. Okay. So our first chord that we're going to learn, this is one that we learn quite a bit here in this class, and it is called the C chord, everybody. So here we go. See the C chord? Okay, let me dim this light, because sometimes it's hard to see. Okay. All right. So you see the C chord? Good, that's better. And then uh, our third finger is on string number four. Now, in saying that, string number four is the one that is furthest from me. So let me show you. String one is the one closest to me, also known as the G string. String two, known as the C string, is number two. String three is the E string, number three. And string four is the A string, okay? So that's it, G, C, E, and A. So again, your third finger is on string number four, fret number three. So we have different sections of our instrument, fret one, fret two, and fret three, and fret four. So fret three, string four. All right, everybody. So let's play the, the C chord. So again, third finger is on string four, fret three. Here we go. You're playing the C chord. Good. Good job. All right. Next, we are going to go to the D chord. All right, everybody. No, I'm sorry. It's the D7. That's it. Okay. So first we have what is called the D7 simple chord. So our first finger is on string one, second finger is on string three, fret number two. So that is the D7 simple chord. So why do I call it simple? Because we have a complicated one too, that's why. I so again, D7 simple, see right there? First finger is on string one, and then our second finger is on string number three. D7 simple. Good. Now, this is D7 complicated for our advanced players. So, we have our first finger comes all the way across fret two, and our second finger is on string four fret three. Okay, so let's, let me show you how that's done. And again, if you like the D7 simple, then just forget this. Okay, so first finger again is all the way across fret two. And then our second finger is on string four, fret three. Yep, that's D7. D7 complicated. Yeah, very complicated. Now, what else do we have? We have the F chord. So let's find the F chord for all of you. Okay, F chord. Yeah, I think it's in here somewhere. Oh, here. <laughs> okay, you were worried, weren't you? So the F chord, your first finger is on string three, fret one. And your second finger is on string one, fret number two so one and two okay so again first finger string three second finger is on string two that is f 
Yeah, good news, you'll be using C and F again in our next song. And then finally, we have the G7 chord. There's a lot of G chords out there. I don't know what happened. <laughs> the G7 is also known as the triangle. So here's G7, everybody. So your first finger is on string three. Second finger is on string two. Then your third finger is on string four. So it forms a triangle. Okay, that's called the G7. So let's play the triangle. Good. All right, now let's see about this song. So this song we have, we have D7, G7, C. Then it goes to F, F, and C, G7, and C. So yeah, that's pretty much how the song goes, everybody. So let us do the gobble gobble song. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'll try to do the D7 simple, but sometimes I'll slip into the complicated. So that, that's what's happening. Five, six, here we go. Seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. G seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and C. Good. Five, six, seven, eight. job everybody and aloha to turtle cat always a pleasure <laughs> all right everybody you did it you played the gobble gobble song <laughs> now this next song we've got a few more chords we're going to learn this is actually a continuation from last week so i'm sure everyone has memorized this song <laughs> but if not don't worry we're going to go over it one more time 
So this is another song for El Dia de los Muertos, or the Day of the Dead, called Remember Me. And this truly is a song about remembering our ancestors. In this case, um, Grandma Coco was leaving the earth, and so she wanted everybody to remember her. And so she sang this song to, that was played by Miguel. He's the guitar player on the movie Coco. But let me see. We learned all these chords last week, but let's review some of them. Now, the good news, you've already gone through some of these in the last song. So we have, again, let me hit this light. We have G7 is one, okay? The F chord was the other one that we learned. We'll be using that. D7, again, you can use the complicated version, this one or you can use the simple version, okay? And then finally, the C chord, okay? So we're gonna use all of those in this song. Now, we do have a few more, sorry about that. <laughs> the nice thing, this is a slow song, so even though there's a lot of chords, you'll be able to get them all, okay? And if you haven't found it yet, look up the Ukulele Dad Facebook page, everybody, okay? That's where you can find the music here. Now, I'm hoping to be able to share this with you. I have a, <laughs> usually I pull these out of the notebook, but I think I was falling asleep last night. Some of you do that, huh? Okay. Our first chord is the A minor chord. That's a nice one. First finger is on string one, fret number two. Okay, so let's play the A minor. First finger, fret one, String number two. That is the A minor. Good job. Now, next we have the B flat chord. So let's see if we can find that one. Yep. We don't, we do have quite a few B flat, B chords. Yeah. And this is one. So this is probably our hardest chord because you use four fingers. First finger string three, second string finger string four, third finger is on string two, and fourth finger is on string one. Let's fret one, two, and three. Wow, we're getting complicated in this chorus. So here we go. First finger string three, second finger string four, third finger is on string two, and fourth finger string one. Yep, B flat. It's a lot of fingers. But you did it. Sounds good. All right. Now, what else do we have? C, you've already learned. But let's see if we can take you to C7. Okay, C7 should be in here. Yep, as long as the notebook works, this is not bad. Maybe I will do it this way. <laughs> okay. C7, first finger is on string four, fret one. Okay, so that's C7. Remember the C, your third finger is down. C, this is C7. Good. Very good. Now next we have an E chord. Let's see if we can find the E in here. Yep, we do have a few E's in this book. <laughs> so, yep, it's important that you learn the chord chart. And then, um, again, I'd almost print out the chords because we, we have a, a chord chart, three pages. It's got all the chords on there. Aloha to Sound of Trance. It is an honor to see you. Thanks for coming. Now, this is the E7 chord, everybody. So your first finger is on string one, second finger string two, and third finger on string four. This is fret one and fret two, okay? So here we go, E7, first finger string one, second finger string two, and third finger string four. Ooh, that sounds kind of creepy. <laughs> E7, all right. Now, the next chord you've already learned, that is F. So let's go to F minor, I think it's the next one. Now, F minor, 
is kind of a dramatic chord. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like something in a drama. <laughs> but you'll like it, F minor. Okay. Here it is, F minor. So, first finger is on string one, second finger on string three, and then our fourth finger is on string four. So one, two, and four, that's the F minor, everybody, okay? So here we go. One, first finger, string one, second, string three, and fourth finger, string four. Yeah, it's a little easier to play with the fourth finger. Here we go. Five, six, here we go. Good. F minor. All right, we got a couple more. You're almost there, friends. <laughs> Our next one is G minor. And then we have G, yeah. So here's G. Let's do G. Now, before we did for you the G7, so look at the G7, and then look at the G, okay? So the, I guess the big difference is they're upside down, right? Okay, so look at the G, yeah, upside down G7, okay? All right, so let me show you G. First finger is on string two. Second finger string four, third finger string three. That's G. G7, you know. So now you may be asking why so many chords? Because this is kind of an advanced song. <laughs> okay. This is an advanced song, everybody. But keep trying, even our beginners, you can do it. All right. So this is a song, as I said, from the movie Coco called Remember Me. And I want you to, again, think of your ancestors, okay? Here we go. Starting on the C, and then the F minor, and then C, and then F minor. Then we'll go to B flat, and E7. So yeah, that's kind of how it goes there, okay? Okay, here's the C. Five, six, seven, and... Bravo. 
biasa so much sound of trance yes this is a very emotional and a wonderful song but it is an honor to be able to share it with you now i do have some bad news everybody <laughs> i forgot to teach you one chord <laughs> okay it's the g minor chord but again look me up on the ukulele dad facebook page and you will find all of these chords maybe too many right <laughs> okay here we go that's why i usually do this the night before but what are you going to do okay so here this is your g minor chord first finger is on string one second finger on string two and third is on string three everybody so that is it now the hardest part of this show is pulling up the last two slides here, so let's see how we do. Okay, here we go, everybody. And sometimes I hit the wrong button and then we end up blacking out of there. Well, this is my uh, ukulele dad slide. Yeah, that's a nice one, huh? <laughs> so hope you enjoy that. But again, it is an honor to be with all of you, share some music, and also to teach a little bit on the ukulele and um, let me pull up our final slide for everybody because tonight we are doing what we call ohana night and we do this um, once um, yeah we do this once a month so let me see here is this the oh no that's the wrong one everybody <laughs> yeah, that's my other program but yeah school talk story with dr t is the name of that one and um <laughs> you can see it's on wednesdays at 12 p.m pacific time is when we have that show all right yeah, see i'm getting better at ducking huh <laughs> All right, let us find our next ukulele dad slide. There we go, everybody. Yep, we're improving now. So, just want everybody, tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific time, we will be on Twitch and also in person in the city of Lakewood at 5316 Clark Avenue. So I should write that here in the old chat since we have it here. 5316. Uh oh. That's the problem is spelling. Clark, C L A R K Avenue in the city of Lakewood. So if you are in the Los Angeles, greater Los Angeles area, not too far, just north of the city of Long Beach, um, yeah, we have an airport in Long Beach. You could fly in. <laughs> but that's where we'll be tonight. 7 p.m. Pacific time. Again, join us on Twitch. Or if you're in the area, come in person. We just started doing in person three months ago. And um, yep, I'll admit the people are still cautious. Not too many show up, but we have some. I mean, we've had 10 to 15 people show up. <laughs> so that's good. And then 
Just wanted to add that uh, we'll be back here at 12 p.m. Pacific time next Thursday. Yeah, I think I'll be here every Thursday. Yeah, who knows? I might even show up on Thanksgiving. You never know. <laughs> and then uh, I also have a program called School, School Talk Story with Dr. T. It's on Wednesdays at 12 p.m. Pacific time. A little more talk story in that, but we do talk about a lot of different things related to the schools and education. We had very nice guests yesterday, Mr. Hall and Cristina Torres, who were from the group called the Thinking Mats. So that was a really good group there that we had on yesterday. All right, let me do the closing aloha for you. <laughs> problem when I put up the slide it's hard to see my fingers sometimes but here we go Aloha from Hawaii Adios from Guam and the Marianas Islands Alua from the Kingdom of Tonga Aerea from the Cook Islands Aerea from New Zealand of Samoa. It has been an honor to spend some time with everybody today and do me a favor, take some aloha to the world. We need more out there. All right, everybody, take care. <laughs>